Marvel Studios has revealed the age of Hulk's son, Scar. And good luck figuring this math out or exactly what they're talking about because none of it makes sense. Literally none of it. Like, none of it. This is worse than the Sony screw-up at the beginning of Spider-Man Homecoming. So just a quick recap. The Hulk was taken off of Earth in 2015, and we catch up with the character in 2017 for Thor Ragnarok. And then, of course, there is still the missing five years. But we can all assume, because we can use our brains, that Scar, the son of Hulk, was somehow, right, we can all understand this, conceived during his time off of Earth, hence why he's in space and hence why Hulk had to go to space to try to get him. So if that happens and the MCU is currently optimistically in 2026 and Hulk was out there in 2015 to 2017, that would roughly place the age of the character between the age, let's just say, 8 to 10, right? Okay, that works. Well, um... Not so fast, because one of the artists from Marvel Studios released the final design that they ended going up with, talking about the concepts, the ideas, and what they were going for, and he says that in the iteration we got in the MCU, Scar is 17 to 18 years old. Now, if we just factor that in, that means that Scar was conceived sometime before the events of The Incredible Hulk? Okay, that doesn't make sense. Now, the only thing I could see here, and this might be the one, this is the only thing I can think of, and that's the fact that time moves different on Sakaar. So, him aging 18 years in the span of 9 to 10 years could obviously be for various reasons. One, that, again, aging is different and time runs differently there. Also, whatever was happening with uh, you know, the Grandmaster, who we assume is probably one of the people that sent the ship after Hulk, try to get the warning out there, or try to get him to take notice. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. And then this also works in their favor, if you really think about it. They don't have to have Scar be like a nine-year-old and then have him grow over the course of the next 10 years. The next time we see him, he'll be like, what, 20 years old maybe? In World War Hulk and then he's more just rage filled and doesn't know how to control himself and kind of just lets loose and is a lot more savage you know the testosterone and everything running through your body during that age like I think that would kind of work so maybe that's the reason they'll explain it like that because currently if they don't explain that it's the uh, time passing differently on the planet which we all just assume kind of happens all the time then it's kind of a bad explanation and a big old plot hole 